In this video, we're going to take a stock Sony A6700 and turn it into a filmmaker's dream. Let's jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is somehow attach something to the Sony camera so that we can build off it. And we're going to start with a small rig Sony A6700 cage, which comes with loads of mounting options, just what we need. So let's put this on the camera, just like so. Perfect. Now we can start adding attachments to our camera that are going to help us with our filmmaking. And the first thing we're going to add is a side handle to the right hand side of our camera, just like so. And that is just excellent. That means we're going to get extra grip when we're using the camera. We're also going to add a top handle to mount our monitor on and give us extra support when we're carrying our camera. And mounting this is super easy to the top of our cage. Next we're going to add a rail to the side of the cage. This will make sense later on in the video. Next we're going to add a couple of follow focus rings onto our lens. And again this will make sense in a moment. And just like that we've added it to our focus wheel on the lens. And we've also added one to the zoom ring on our lens also, and I'm going to be showing you why in a second. Next we're going to be adding a step up ring onto the front of the lens, so that our variable ND filter fits. And if you're wondering what lens I'm using, it's the Sigma 18-50 f2.8. Now we take our variable ND filter and mount it onto the front of the step up ring on the front of our lens. Next we're going to be adding the small rig follow focus system and this is very easy to install as we've already mounted a rail to the side of our lens. And all we have to make sure of is that the gear in marries up to the focus ring that we previously installed. And if you're wondering why we added a second rubber focus ring to the zoom function on the lens, it's so we can move our follow focus system forward and we can use it as a zoom system. Next we're going to be adding a monitor to our setup and I'm going to be using the Viltrox DC550. Now I've made a whole video about this monitor and how good it is, I'll link it in the pinned comment below so make sure you check it out. But let's now add this to our top handle. The next thing we're going to add is a HDMI clamp to the side of the cage so that it protects our HDMI cable. Then we got to attach the HDMI cable from the monitor to the camera. And then tighten up our HDMI clamp. Now we're going to mount a microphone to our setup using the cold shoe mount on top of our cage. And I'm going to be using the Deity D3 Pro. Making sure that we don't forget to plug it in. And there she is, ready to rock and roll. All we have to do is remember to put a battery in the back of our monitor. And we're now ready to go make some blockbuster movies. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see further videos from myself, hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video. Oh, whilst you're here, why don't you check out this video also?